Guys, what's up? It's Chase's W Game here. Today I'm going to be giving you the confirmed release dates for all the episodes of The Walking Dead, the final season, and all chapter titles. So I'll be going over all the title names for this game. Uh, don't worry, there will not be any spoilers. This is just uh, the chapters. Uh, you can all view this on your trophies slash achievements, uh, depending on what uh, console you're on or if you're playing on PC. But you can look at all of these. But I'm going to go through them, uh, episode 2 to 4, and I'm going to be talking about what they could possibly mean and what we could be expecting for the next episodes including the very last one. Um, I just want to give a little, uh, is it called disclaimer, I don't know, but you might be able to hear a clock and I'm very echoey at the moment because I'm in my lounge, not my room, so sorry about that. So I'm going to be giving you the release dates before we jump straight into the chapter names. Starting off here we have Done Running which was released August the 14th obviously, we haven't played it yet, episode 1, it was amazing. Suffer the Children which is the title name for episode 2 is going to be released on September the 25th. Broken Toys is episode 3 which will be released on November the 6th and Take Us Back which is the exact same song title for the episode 5 season finale of season 1 after Lee died is December the 18th which is episode 4 the season finale and I... I uh, why is Clementine's hat on the on the picture as well? And just why where is Clem in that in that photo? And also like what? Why is it the name of the end credits of season one? I don't know. But they're all coming out this year. I mean, I think it's perfect that we get to know uh, all the episodes before they even out. I mean, this I think this is the first ever game where we actually get to know all the release dates of all the episodes straight after episode one has been released. I think it's perfect how they've done this. So it looks like the game is going to be finishing up this year and the episodes are going to be coming out once a month. So without further ado, I think we should talk about what's going to be in these episodes. So these are episode 1 trophies, I'm going to be calling them trophies because I played on PS4 but if you, I'm pretty sure there's a video out there that shows all trophies, I, I think there is, I, I think I saw one but I'm sure you guys are here obviously to see episode 2 the 4. So to start off with, there is going to be spoilers from episode 1, so if you haven't seen it I'll put in the description my series, you should definitely watch mine because I definitely didn't kill AJ or anything. AJ shoot! <gasps> so starting off here we have the title we're staying and this is for completing act one which is chapter one of episode two so what i'm assuming is after <clears throat> marlon got shot in the head by other 10 or aj um we possibly become the leader because obviously we're going to have to need the leader everyone's going to be feeling lost lost after um well three people are dead after this so no two people so it was only marlon and uh what's her name brody so after these people died, um, and after everyone figuring out, uh, well, finding out that um, us as Clem, we told everyone that Marlon traded up ten sisters to the. Were they bandits? No, scavengers. I can't remember what they were, but they were people. Obviously, uh, Marlon traded ten sisters for, and they were going to do the same with us and AJ. Um, so everyone's uh, after everyone found that out. I'm sure everyone's going to feel lost. Hence, why it's called "Suffer the Children." Episode two is called. So I feel like we're going to become the leader, and we're just going to tell everyone we're staying we need somewhere to stay we're the leader now um and obviously it does sound a bit brutal i don't know really what we could you know figure out but it's just obvious that we're going to be staying in the school throughout the rest of the game we're staying simple um we've told everyone we've stayed chapter one complete we're still in the school anyway i just found out they're called raiders not bandits so this is the one where this is gonna get people thinking like oh god so Old ghost, what could this mean? Does this mean we're going to be seeing Lee again? Is Lee's voice actor going to be returning? Are we going to be seeing Lily? Is this where Lily is returning? I did predict Lily could return in episode 2, but what could old ghost mean? I'm thinking flashback with Lee. Or there's going to be a... I, I don't know if there's going to be new lines, because in the trailer we did see Clem shooting AJ again, the exact same uh, clip from episode 1. So I'm thinking, you know... Maybe Lee comes back, we hear more lines from him, that'd be nice. Uh, I don't know why Lee's going to be returning, but obviously we're feeling lost now. Like, we're, we're also obviously suffering as the children. We are, because on the picture, Clem is sat down, it just, AJ is sat lying on the bed, so they're just not talking to each other. Everyone's like, just lost, and I feel like Lee's going to be coming back somehow. What could old ghost mean? It's got to mean Lily or Lee. I'm calling it, when episode 2 comes out, if it's Lee or, Lily or Lee, everyone who's watching this video is going to be a fiver, alright? So, yeah, I reckon that's true. At chapter two, that's that's it. I'm I'm. It's got to be. We got to see something with Lee. It's related with Lee, or we're going to be seeing Lily again. That's my prediction. Let's move on to chapter three. So the final act of episode one is called Defender. Now, what I think this means is possibly 
we are defending maybe somebody. Maybe it's a choice between somebody. We defend someone. I mean, that, that doesn't sound right. But for the final choice uh, in episode two, defending... Uh, a defender, I reckon maybe it's defending everyone once again, maybe from Marlon, uh, Marlon, sorry, because obviously he's pointing the gun at everyone in episode one, so maybe there's a new threat, maybe there's new more, more walkers heading towards the school, we defend the school, we save everyone once again, we are the hero, and yeah, so I, I think that's, I, that's all I can say really for the final act, uh, there's nothing really to be said, defender, all I can gather, is that we save everyone from the school because don't forget we are still in the school that's the whole point of collectibles in the world to decorate your room you'll be there throughout the whole school because you can see in all the pictures you're in the uh in the safe zone of the school uh, obviously except from episode one we go to the train station but all the other pictures we we're out we're inside of the safe zone um we have to go stay inside the safe zone when marlin is dead don't we to <laughs> just just the trolling but yeah um that's all i can say really is i think we defend everyone from the school i think there's a new threat uh, coming to everyone and I just I think we just you know we, we defend everyone oh like I said at the start maybe we do defend someone we save someone once again but yeah that's all I can gather for that so I think we should uh, move on to episode 3 which is broken toys okay a few hidden trophies here that's four. Oh wait there's another four here that's eight hidden trophies in episode 2 gather found all episode 2 collectibles personal touch place all episode 2 collectibles okay whispers completed act 1 of episode 3 what could whispers mean? Right, so there could be a possible chance. You know what? I always wish this was in this game. I actually thought when I finished episode one, like, oh, could this be a possibility? It is based on the comic books. Robert Kirkman is ex Robert Kirkman is obviously aware of this game. So, whispers? Could the whispers be in episode three? How cool would that be? Starting off episode 3 and we've already came in touch with the whispers. That's just a little chance I don't think that is what it means whispers. I believe we're gonna be obviously I don't know what's gonna be happening in episode 3 We have no clue. This is straight after I'm talking about this straight after episode 2 episode 2 isn't even out So we have no clue. So this is just I'm just judging what it from the chapter titles. So whispers I, obviously, this is uh, this is legal, right? Talking about whisperers because we have no clue whatsoever. So it's a right to have a guess, all right? So I'm gonna say whisperers. I would love to see the whisperers in this game. I think that would be amazing. Amazing. It is coming out in the TV series soon in season nine. So I, that is gonna be awesome. But um, if you don't know what the whisperers are, they're basically a group of people who obviously live among the dead and they talk among the dead. Like I remember on the season nine teaser, they're like, where are? <coughs> Hold on. Where are? And they're talking as zombies, uh, and they're in. Oh, that's not that's not legal, is it? I meant walkers, and they're uh, they're in the walker crowd. Obviously, they've got walker guts on them and all that, but they talk like walkers and they look just like walkers. But it's crazy. Um, so I reckon maybe you have to whisper. Like you're in, you're doing a little, obviously another mission. You got to, you got to whisper to people because obviously you're surrounded by walkers, or maybe you're surrounded by more the people or maybe you're going against the raiders you got a whisper you got to get past people maybe there's another traitor maybe you just got you know you got to get part you got to, you got a whisper okay you got to whisper to someone something that's all i'm gathering so whisperers or you got to whisper to someone obviously uh, or maybe hear someone whispering so obviously you can't be too loud but you might hear someone whispering maybe someone's talking about you maybe someone's planning against you just like marlin did uh, you never know. So, I mean, that's quite interesting. When I first saw this, I was like, yeah, Whisper is confirmed. <laughs> so, let's move on to chapter 2. Okay, Act 2 is Shoreline. So, we can actually see the shoreline of the image of Broken Toys here. And all the episodes just seem really dead. Like, I, I don't know if that was intentional, but... If you remember at the start of uh, the, when the actual game was announced, we got that teaser trailer of Clem and AJ sat on a bridge fishing. Uh, they're on their own as well. Perhaps this is this scene. However, I think that scene was actually set before episode one because it said, oh, what do you do if I get bit, right? So it said, oh yeah, always aim for the head. And uh, we actually repeat that when we're at the train station on episode one, like uh, it, it, the demo at daytime. So perhaps maybe it's not that, but we are at a shoreline. You can see on the picture here, uh, it seems really dead. So on Act 2, that's when we're going to be... Um, that's where it's going to be taking place at the shoreline at the uh, of the thumbnail of episode three. Did I say episode two? No, I don't know. Episode three. So I I'm I don't know. I really don't know what we're going to be doing. I don't know if swimming would be in it. That'd be cool. But shoreline, I don't know what could happen here. It's just it's really dead, really. I, I don't know. But um, it does get a bit more interesting uh, on the final act.
and that brings us to leader and I did say before that we are possibly the leader so maybe we are still the leader I don't know but what I'm assuming from this is that we weren't the leader before maybe we were just like you know what we're staying I don't care what any of you say none of you is a leader none of us is a leader so I'm staying we me and AJ are staying so now because maybe I don't know if we do something else again at the shoreline maybe we get loads of fish and we impress everyone again that makes everyone you know think more of us and now we are the leader we are the new Marlin but we're nicer we're not going to trade anyone out to any um to any raiders we'll sacrifice ourselves as a real leader as we uh, as you could have said on episode one so i reckon we are now the leader now we are confirmed the leader we come back to everyone here we don't we haven't left everyone we do go back to the school maybe a few more people maybe a few more of the kids have died teenagers uh, maybe a few more characters obviously that there's death literally every episode isn't there so we don't know who's remaining at this point but maybe there's only four or five people left because there wasn't a many t uh, there isn't many kids at the school you know so if any more died and that does leave us to about you know maybe six seven left i reckon in episode three and uh i think yeah we're just gonna build up our little community from there only a, f a short amount of kids and i just feel like people's gonna these kids are gonna carry on dying until we get to episode four where it all ends um and i don't think clem will die because i'm now going to go on to episode four uh look, sorry i just want to just point out these little hidden achievements as well Okay, so there's four hidden trophies. Oh, there's another four, so there's eight hidden trophies, just like episode two. Hunter, found all episode three collectibles. Feels like mine. Placed all episode three collectibles. I wonder if there's six collectibles in every episode. So, these are the episode four chapters. These are the final three I'm going to go through, well, until we get to the little cheeky hidden ones, which, um, I, when I get to the hidden achievements that we don't know about yet, that's actually interesting as well, but I'll get to that. But these three is why I feel like I, well, I, I know for a fact there's a strong, it's, it's not confirmed, but there's a strong feeling why Clementine will not die. So starting off here, red water. So, what is the picture for episode four? So Clementine's hat is on her own. She's um, back at the uh, shoreline. Well, she's on a. That's where the bridge was, where AJ and Clem were singing, row, row, row your boat gently down the sea. Red water. What could this mean? So obviously they've got the hat here. They're near water. So perhaps the water obviously turns red. What does that mean? Blood. What does that mean? Death. So perhaps death death maybe a, a major character death is at the end of episode three and then we begin episode four and we're like oh no another cliffhanger just like episode one just like how episode two is going to start i'm going to tell aj off for that by the way what he did to martin so because i thought we just had things right you know with him and then he just shoots him in the back of the head nah, i always aim for the head yeah shut up but I, I'm, I'm joking i love aj but still red water this must mean a death so i don't know what happens maybe i don't know if we do see lily then we must she must not be with us forever because this is a kid's school i mean we can't first adult like we've got to see a returning character like how is lily gonna pay a play a role in this play a role in this sorry but maybe she died i can't just predict lily's gonna die in red water we've gone so far only episode one's out and i'm already predicting red water means lily dies in episode four she's it's not even confirmed the returning character is coming back but i there's so much evidence for it but red water i just believe a character's gonna die that's all i can figure out for that one it's so simple red water i mean uh yeah <laughs> red water all i can gather is that someone dies in the shore it, no it's not in the shore in the water but who i don't know who but it's just a, maybe a kid it might not be a kid it might be a it's got to be a main character i reckon but someone dies in the water i don't think right i'm being right this is a really good theory this is a really good theory the reason clementine's hat there is because they could be play tricking us clementine could die we take the role of AJ at the end of episode 4, we get our final lesson, right? What has Clementine- Okay, I just went on to- I just went on to the second trophy on accident. So, so Clementine could be the one who dies in the water. She could be the red water. Okay, so I can carry on with this little theory. I'm going to move on to act 2. Final lesson. What did I mean by Clementine dying? So we're taking the role of AJ now. We're learning our final lesson just like Clementine did. Maybe that's in combat or something. Uh, we're just we're just learning as AJ now. But I'm going to scrap that. I'm going to come out with the best theory ever. So, Clementine, we are still playing as. 
she got bit, just like Lee did. Clementine is the red water, like I said. We are now bitten. We've with maybe lying down. We've sat down with AJ. This could explain why Clementine's hat is on the st on the rock, and we've given it to AJ. We're sat lying against a tree, possibly. And what was Clem's final lesson, which Lee taught her? How to say goodbye. So just like they teased in the teaser trailer, what do you do if I get bit? Clem is going to get bit. Whatever you did on season one. If you either shot or left Lee, you're not going to get a decision at the end of this episode. Whatever you did then, Clem is going to tell AJ to do. So if you told uh, Clem to shoot you as Lee, you're, a you're going to tell AJ to shoot you as Clementine. So uh, that brings me on to Act 3. So finally we have Saviour. What could this mean? So Clementine sacrificed herself maybe for AJ uh, and she got herself bit as a result of that. Maybe I could get this totally wrong and she saved the whole school again, but I just doubt that would happen. To make this emotional as the final act, I'm pretty sure it's going to be related just to uh, AJ and Clementine. I reckon we're going to have Lee flashbacks. We uh, we saved we saved AJ somehow. We sacrificed ourselves getting bit. And as we're sat down by the tree possibly and we're about to tell AJ to possibly shoot us or leave us, we have been bit and we've saved him. We've saved him and... Like Clementine always teases throughout the whole game. She's always like, oh, I hope I die in as a hero. She actually mentioned that in the New Frontier. She's like, I hope I die. If Trip died, if how Trip died, if you had Trip alive in a New Frontier, when you see him die, uh, Clem's like, I hope I die like that, being a hero. So it just makes so much sense. And I mean, it makes so much sense for a, uh, a season finale. But we could have different endings. That might not be the only ending of Clementine dying. So don't worry about it. But it just seems like as a trophy, which everyone gets, it just seems like there can only be one ending to this. Maybe it's different how it happens, though. And... Uh, yeah, but I definitely don't think we get the option to chop off her arm because we might not get even bit in the arm. You know, I mean, it'd be it'd be twice if we get bit in the arm, just like um just like the dog uh, Sam did because he bit us in the arm, didn't he? I'd be like, I'd be twice if we get bit in the arm, one by a Walker, one by a dog. Also, in the very first teaser trailer of the game, when AJ and Clem were singing "Row, row, row your boat," she did say, "What do you do if I get bit?" What do you Boom, do? Boom, mind blown. So that is my theory. That has been every single trophy. Oh, well, actually, I just want to uh, bring on to something. This episode, right, the, all the other episodes have eight hidden trophies. Episode four only has four. So perhaps there's going to be less free roam, perhaps there'll be less choices, because usually um, in episode one, how we got hidden trophies, it was doing different paths, right? And there was obviously one which was, wasn't a hidden trophy. This was collect all six collectibles. I don't know if it'd be less than six collectibles in this episode, but all collectibles were called uh, Survivor found all episode 4 collectibles so perhaps you maybe just gotta like just not fall into the lava but just gotta co collect every you know every or maybe no okay that's a bit dramatic all right <laughs> perhaps we're in a herd of walkers right and we just gotta collect all the collectibles and that's what it's called survivors like right i'll collect that come on i want all these collectibles for my playthrough i want everyone to see i've got all the collectibles so as clemens you just gotta collect every collectible in a herd of walkers that'd be hilarious but i don't know what it is i but it does say survivor but that's for collecting all episode 4 collectibles but it's called survivor why would it be called Survivor for collecting collectibles? Uh, I don't know what that could mean, but usually being a survivor, that means to scavenge things. So maybe just, you know, you're a really good survivor at fighting things. You're a really good survivor. You found everything in episode four. But when you place everything down, that is called home at last. So it doesn't make sense, right? You can't die. Oh, no, 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 no. This, right, it's organized. Act, act one, two, and three is set before the... Uh, all collectibles right but uh you don't place down everything at the end of the episode so perhaps you could say home at last right but then clementine dies i would say it wouldn't make sense if clementine's dead and then you place down all the collectibles if she's dead as a walker you just go back into your dawn put, put everything down it just doesn't seem <laughs> you know it doesn't seem everything it doesn't seem right so i think collecting all the collectibles will be before it won't be right at the end of the episode definitely not didn't do that with episode one that no you won't end off the episode by placing down everything in your dorm whenever you get the chance you will that may be at the start of the episode so yeah four hidden trophies i don't know less stuff more 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 feels you know to uh more motion so yeah that's gonna be it guys if you did enjoy that's a nice 20 minute video you know so that's gonna be it um that is all my that's predictions that's all the chapters for episode two to four i hope you guys enjoyed i think let me know what you think to some of these uh trophies they definitely do seem about right some of them uh, some of them are quite interesting. Let me know what your favourite uh, uh, your favourite uh, prediction was for 
a trophy. But yeah, these are all the trophies, these are all real, you can all check these out, uh, all names uh, for, I don't know if it's different for Xbox, but I don't I don't think Xbox have hidden trophies, you know, I mean obviously they do have trophies, but I reckon for Xbox it will say the names of the trophies, perhaps, let me know in the description below if um, the Xbox One trophies do reveal the hidden trophies, because then it, it will say what hidden, I don't think it will, you know, I don't think it will, because why would it, say what happens on episode 4, like Hidden Trophy, oh yeah, <laughs> Hidden Trophy, let, you know, let AJ uh, shoot you, let AJ leave you, like, that's the, that's the kind of Hidden Trophy it would be, I don't think it would reveal that much, so let me know if it does reveal more on the Xbox trophy, uh, Xbox achievements in the comment section below. Are you scared Clem's gonna die? Are you scared AJ's gonna die? Don't think about it right now, we've still got episode 2 and 3 to come, yeah, and that is a lot of excitement, but are you scared? Let me know in the comment section below. I mean, a lot of people, I mean, there's going to be a riot. There's going to be a riot if Clem or AJ dies. Let's be honest. I mean, more of AJ. Well, yeah, there's going to be more different audiences. There's going to be that audience is like, oh, no, you can't kill AJ. But there's going to be the audience like, oh, I don't care about AJ. If you kill Clem, like, we're going to have a problem, Telltale. Like, we've been with her since the very start. So, I mean, I don't know. But don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. Uh... And that's that's for uh, for more Walking Dead videos along the way. I have got two more videos coming out today later on. One uh, all deaths from episode one, and every time Lewis and Clementine flirts. So thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.